Today I'm going to talk about a much talked about topic that is blocking of driveways or causing obstructions to the highway. Hi, I'm Daniel Shensmith. I'm a barrister of England and Wales. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon because you won't get notifications of new videos otherwise. So street parking can be a bit of a nuisance if people are blocking the streets or blocking your drive and so on. As a homeowner or an occupier of a premises, you have no special legal right to park outside of your own home. All road users have got the same right to park anywhere on the street as long as they are not contravening any traffic or parking restrictions. There's also no time limit for how long they can park in that position, although if it does appear that the vehicle has been abandoned, the police might intervene. You also cannot reserve a parking spot outside of your house. On occasion driving around, I've seen cones put in place to stop other people parking outside their house so that when they return home, they've got somewhere to park. They get out, they move the cone, they park the car. But if you were to do this, you'd be at risk of obstructing the highway yourself and could be liable to prosecution. There may be some exceptions if you've got the local authority's permission. For example, if you need lots of cars to come around, either if you're having a wedding or perhaps a funeral where you do need people to be able to park on the street in order to participate in the event. But please do get the local authority's permission before doing this because that will help you avoid any unnecessary and embarrassing situations. If someone were blazing enough to actually park on your driveway, they are committing trespass, which is a civil offence, not a criminal one. And the police may very well not get involved. At most, they might send an officer around to try to determine who the owner is and ask them to move it. If you find yourself in this situation, don't be tempted to block their car in, thinking that it's your driveway, you can block them in. Just because they're on your drive doesn't allow you to block them from accessing the highway. This would amount to obstructing the highway and you are stopping them from accessing the highway, for which you could also be prosecuted. Similarly, don't be tempted to take your frustrations out on their car because any such frustration and damage caused to their car deliberately would amount to criminal damage, which again, you could be prosecuted for. In any of these scenarios, you should be contacting the local authority and the police to try to resolve the issue. If somebody is consistently blocking your driveway or parking on your driveway, you could potentially sue them in nuisance on the basis that they are interfering with your use and enjoyment of your property. But of course you would need to know who they are in order to do this. So for that, you might need the police assistance. If the car is completely blocking your access to the road, then they themselves are committing an obstruction to the highway and you should get in touch with the police because the police should act on this because obstructing the highway is in and of itself an offence. As for driving and parking on the pavement, it is an offence under section 72 of the Highways Act as amended to willfully drive onto or over the pavement, even if that only lasts for a few seconds. As with all these things, I would urge you not to take action yourself, but to go to the local authority or the police, or if it amounts to a civil action, then seek advice on a civil action. Do subscribe and like this video if you found it useful and you want more tips and guidance along these lines, and stay tuned for my channel memberships, which I will dive even deeper into the law and analysis for those that are interested. Thanks for watching and see you next time.